This winter, ice formed in the Great Lakes shipping channels earlier than anyone can remember. Don Daler went for a look on board a U.S. Coast Guard icebreaker. It takes brute force to smash through the two-foot-thick ice on the passage that connects Lake Superior to Lake Huron. It is loud, violent, and can feel endless. 1,400 yards, making six knots now. The Coast Guard icebreaker Mackinac has been plowing through and clearing small chunks called brash since mid-December. When we get up here, we'll see what the inside looks like. Michael Devonzo is the captain. The bigger challenge in the river, you could see all this broken brash. We had brash that was up to eight feet thick. So is part of your job not just breaking through the ice, but dealing with what happens after that? Right, but what we're really trying to do is manage the ice, the flow of the ice in the river so that we can keep a track open by finding places to move the brash as the ships come down. Freezing temperatures arrived early this winter. Shipments of ore and coal to the region's steel mills have been delayed days, canceled, or stuck in the ice, which now covers more than a third of Lake Michigan. Slow going? Very slow going. It took us 17 hours to move a ship seven miles. Seven miles? In 17, 17 hours. Yes. Wow. At 3,500 tons, the Mackinac is the biggest and newest icebreaker on the Great Lakes. Older icebreakers ride up on the ice and break it using the ship's weight. 176, decimal five, sir. On the Mackinac, Ensign Michael Cooper manipulates the propulsion system to churn up the ice like a blender. The beam of our boat is 58 feet wide, but we're able to cut a track close to 70 feet by using that directional thrust. The vibration caused by this massive ship smashing through this thick ice is relentless. One crewman described it as living 18 hours a day in an earthquake. Forecasters expect 60% of the lake to freeze this year. Despite the work of the Mackinac and eight other icebreakers, most of the routes here will be closed to shipping until late March. Don Daler, CBS News, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan.